And welcome back to part four of the holiday pack and chats. I'm Holly and I am just going to get back to it. I hope you'll check out part one, two, and three. We're going to put in a Christmas coffee, a sugar whip scrub, and a merry cranberry. So good. We have a peppermint soap and a cranberry mint soap. And we also have a peppermint snowflake soap. These are just a cute little snowflake shape. Now, my cocoa butter was so dark this year that all of my white stuff tended to be a bit more creamy, ivory colored, so I have noted that on that particular one. So this order has a wild berry blizzard bath bomb and I was thinking that pretty much all of these videos aside from one that had a comfort bath bomb I haven't been talking about bath bombs so I did want to show you what else I had with this really I had a snow kissed bath bomb we did have a snow angel but those are all gone I don't have any to show you we have a sleigh ride bath bomb, and I like putting them in these bags so that you can untie them and give them a sniff and tie them back up. You can't do that with shrink wrap. We had Merry Cranberry bath bombs and Winter Wonderland bath bombs. Now, I don't know if I am going to remake those or not because December is kind of a you know, kind of later in December, the, the postal system, it just gets super busy. So I don't know how much I want to add to that, but I may remake some. I may just start making bath bombs for next year. That might be the best option. I will continue to ship in December as long as I have product, but I may not release anything new. I'm looking forward to just having some a little bit slower time to really work on just making some fun soaps and I can work on a new project. Sometimes I just need a little downtime, a little slow time so that I can really get my thoughts together on what we're going to be having in the new year. So we have the North Pole and since that's a peppermint also I'm just going to put it there. It is bagged. But, you know, things tend to smell strong anyway. So, hmm, I think I'm gonna want the bath bomb right there. So I have this stretchy paper, love this stuff. And I do cut it all to length. We have like a little quilters mat and, well it's not little, it's a pretty big one, but, um. And then like a quilter's rotary cutter and we just slice what we need. And I just like to give the bath bombs just a little bit more protection. Just because they're kind of odd shaped. They're pretty hard and they shouldn't break in transit. But it's, they handle things pretty rough sometimes. So definitely not in never say never situation because it does happen. But that looks like a good spot for that bath bomb. And it does have a little bit of color inside of it. And then we have eggnog cream wax melt donuts. Super cute. I love eggnog. Are you team eggnog or are you team anti-eggnog? I love it. Um, it's a little rich for me, so I do tend to mix it. Can I give them a shred a little mix over here? It's a little... Uh, I, I mix my own craft and colors and all that, so sometimes it gets a little heavy in color in one spot or two. Anyway, I like eggnog. I'm one of those people that I will buy eggnog, usually buy it at Thanksgiving time, and never drink any because it's just, I don't tend to drink things that aren't coffee or water. Uh, but if I do, 
getting back to the if I do part, I do like to cut it with some milk because it's so rich. I can't, I can't hardly handle it straight up. It's too thick. So I love this stuff, but with adjustments. So in with the candy cane and cocoa packet, my holiday soap sample and my holiday wax melt sample. We're gonna put in my cards. We have the cute little holiday card. I ordered, not double, but I had to order a lot. Like I probably could have stopped it. No, not even 300. Hmm. I don't know how many I'll end up having, but I had to buy a lot of cards. And so I'll have some left over and I'll use them next year, probably too. But I wasn't super happy with these and my husband's like, you're too picky. But I was kind of in a rush because it was cloudy, like solid, like dark cloudy. Not like bright cloudy where you can take pictures, but like dark cloudy. And so, anyway, I was kind of in a rush and I was looking at, you know, I was looking at half and thirds and all that. And then I realized I wish I could have just like, I don't know, cropped it a little bit different, but I didn't and that's how it goes. And I'll know for next year to be a little bit more cautious, but I probably will have those out the wazoo for this year. Because <laughs> the because the brakes aren't that great. It's like 250, 500. Maybe you don't need 500, but you definitely need more than 300. Probably need about 400, but for me, I probably need about 400. Of course, I have screwed up a few of them too. <laughs> But anyway, that's the way it goes. So this one is off to North Carolina. All right, so this order is headed off to New York City and is going to a long time customer. We've got a regional rate A set up here and I don't know if it's all gonna fit, but I'm gonna try. So we have the Autumn Sweet Sets collection. So this one had, let's see. We had Autumn's Wreath, Baked Apples, Caramel Apple Cider, and whoop, Buttered Pumpkin Pecan Waffles go in there. So I'll put these so the hanger parts up towards the edge here. Then we have cranberry spice, pumpkin gingerbread, pumpkin spice latte, and warm caramel and vanilla. I have quite a bit of these left even now, so I will probably start breaking these down into individuals. We'll see, I don't know, I'm gonna have to look at inventory. Coming up this week, it's Thanksgiving. Um, this coming week and I'm super excited, but I also tend to take Thanksgiving off So the whole weekend so I'm not one that's usually paying attention to Black Friday sales Cyber Monday I don't participate in it really so not as a seller or a buyer so You know, I don't know like I like to offer sales for you guys But I also tend to do a sale later in December once I see all what I've got left and everything. So, you know, we'll see. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I decided I was gonna ponder on that this week and see if I wanted to do anything. Cause it is important to me to relax and just enjoy family. It seems like it's gotten very commercial. You know, we have Black Friday, we have Small Business Saturday. I don't know what Sunday is. And then Cyber Monday. And I see these if this is your thing, go for it. I More power to you. But I feel like people are like leaving their families. Of course, you can't do a whole lot this year, obviously. But in general, people are like leaving their families and their family time and something is supposed to be just a really nice, cozy weekend. And it's just like money, 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 spend, buy, buy, spend, money, 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 money. 
<laughs> it's just one of those things that's always been a bit of a turn off to me because I've always just been busy with family. So we had a ginger nog. This is a mix between ginger bread and eggnog. Like I said, if that's your thing, more power to you. I know that's a fun like family thing to shop and such, you know. So I've never participated in it. So that's just where my personal opinions come from. But as a result of that, I don't tend to focus on sales. Now, another aspect of that is my soaps especially are wholesale prices. If I charged retail prices like I'm supposed to, they'd be $20 a bar. Like, I make them well, people. I make them with some good stuff. A little extravagant, possibly, but it's the way I like it. So, but I do only charge the wholesale price on my soap. So, there's really no room for me if I want to, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to move this around because I have a few things here. But for me personally, this is my living. So if I offer it at a sale when I'm already only charging wholesale prices, it's just not very smart if you know what I'm saying. But it's not very smart that I'm not charging retail as is. So I guess we can look at it that way too. But I don't know. I don't think you're going to pay $20 for a bar soap, but I don't think I would either. So that's uh, just a decision that I've made. I'm just going to offer it at that price. And I, you know, I buy bulk where I can and I cut corners where, cut corners in a financial way, I should say. You know, buying bulk. Like I just bought 350 pounds of cocoa butter. I'm going to be good for a little while or what have you. But I've been buying bulk. But it's with shipping and costs and everything increasing, it's really not making that big of a difference. So while that was a long spiel, I didn't, totally didn't intend to have. So we had Frosty go in there, and then this is a sunflower. Oh, it smells so good. It's just ra radiating goodness is what it's doing. Love it. So this one is packed pretty nice. We got a little haphazard there with the clamshells because I was talking. But I'm pretty sure it's all in here. And anyway, the long story short, I want to have a sale for you and I will do what I can. It just may not be over the Black Friday to Cyber Monday weekend. But stay tuned. This video is going to go up on Sunday, probably after Thanksgiving. So like right in between there. So Pay attention. You never know. If you're looking for a sale, it may be possible. Okay, so we're going to put in the wax belt. I'm going to put in a soap sample. And I'm going to put in the cards and everything. We're going to get that cocoa in there. And then this one is going to be headed off to New York City. Which I know New York City has got to be just the most spectacular thing at Christmas time. Love to do it. Not a crowds person, so I probably can't do it. But again, one of those never say never instances again. I'd like to do it someday, so might just have to make it happen. is headed to New Jersey. I have my regional rate A box and we'll see if it'll all go in here. Let's start by putting in the room and linen sprays. We have Snow Angel and Slay Ride. Probably do that ultimately. Might come back in there with some shred. We have a ginger nog wax melt and a candy cane cookies wax melt. I am craving some peppermint now, people. Gosh, this all smells so good. 
we have the snow kiss and they're just the little ornaments i love them i'm going to put in a little bit of shred underneath the spray and then we'll put more of that guy in later we put a little shred there to add a little protection for like you know these products are going to be moving and wiggling we have the north pole wax melt we have an actual gingerbread one have this Christmas coffee which wow I guess that was kind of hard to see anyway I think I need to change this arm it's actually fairly it's fairly high but when I'm making soap it's kind of good for it to be further away in case it splatters because lens are expensive um so yeah but it seems like maybe we need to zoom in I notice the quality changes if you zoom in so I try not to mess with that too much I've been looking around for cameras and I'm trying to find one that you know works with the screen so that I can see you know the location of like the microphone jack and and the battery and the memory card and all the things but I'm in the market for a new one to see if I can't get a little better camera going so it looks like we just have the two left here plum crazy lights and the eggnog cream that's looking good packaging has been going super well I've I've done almost, well, I mean, this is my 15th of my, I have quite a bit of shred left in here. That's always a good thing. So in with the wax melt, we've got the soap and the candy cane. invoicing cards I feel like I've packed quite a few of these regional A's on the videos today which reminds me I need to go downstairs and order more boxes oops I was supposed to do that on Friday I forgot to do that and I could I have a lot of boxes now whether I have the right box for the right order is another story but I did need to go down there and get signed in to the postal website and order the boxes. So what I'm going to do is go print this one, grab the last one, and I will be back to pack the final order on the final video for the holiday pack and chats for 2020. Okay, let's do this one. I did just scroll through. Um, I don't know what it's called anymore. <laughs> I just scrolled through my pirate ship and it does show me some of the notes and I saw that I had one more. So I'm going to do two more here. Um, I just caught myself. I was standing here. I was just standing here and the camera was off. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I think I'm getting tired. <laughs> It is 6 o'clock now. Between editing and getting the video up for today and all the cooking and all the packing, it's been a it's been a day. It's been a productive day. So we have whoa, two spike cider soaps. These are headed to Washington State. We have a serendipity and a Christmas coffee soap. Let's see, we have two flannel and amber soaps. We have a bayberry soap. Let's put that there. We have a winter wonderland soap. 
we have a snow candy soap and I just saw a comment that someone came back and bought some more. They've already gotten their first order from this release and they're back to buy more of this snow candy because they love it so much. So that's fun. Thank you. This customer did several stories that I reposted and they were so much fun. Thank you. Thank you for doing the social media stuff, people. It does help out. Sometimes I I miss them. Let me tell you, my Instagram is wacko. It is, it's bad. Like, the update just made it even worse. So I'll go on and it'll be like, no comments. I was like, oh, okay, okay. So, and I will just move on with my day. And then later on, I'll go on Instagram and be like, 100 likes, which that's its number. Like, the cutoff is 100, apparently, for me. So, 100 likes and four comments. Oh, well, okay then. And then I'll go look and realize people actually have commented. It's just didn't give me notifications. So, that's still going on. I have to actively search out some stuff. Um, so if you tag me and I miss it, sometimes I'll open my Instagram and my notifications um, screen. It'll be like, there'll be like four things and that's it. I can't scroll or anything. So sometimes I don't even know and I don't know where to go look if you guys have tagged me. So I do my best, but I'm sorry if I missed some. It's not entirely my fault. I have had the most bummiest account this whole time in fact i had an issue once and when i was really working on trying to get it fixed they're like oh here's your account was one of like our development test accounts and so you don't get to have access to everything so that was the thing it wasn't that i got to test out like new features and everything i was the i was the one that they didn't give it to so that they could see how whatever so that's the story. That's I'm I'm confident that's why my numbers are so low because my count has always been like a weird one. And I just I don't like it and I don't think it's fair and I've worked to grow it into the point where I'm like it's almost not worth the effort to focus on growing the account. I focus on communicating with my customers and everything the best that I can. Like, I can only do what they'll let me do with it, so I'll, I just, that's my focus. I use it the best that I can. I could probably post a little bit more often. I do admit to that part. I know that in some, like, some cases, to grow your account, you're supposed to, like, post multiple times a day. I'm working, y'all. I don't have time to be on Instagram all day long. I am physically upstairs on my feet doing this. So it's not that I don't want to be in contact with you. It's just that I'm working. I'm working so that we can have a release in the first place. So we had the wax melt and the soap. I think I can tell I'm getting tired. I'm starting to... My... My topics of conversation are starting to veer a little bit. It's hard to talk this much, and I'm a talker. So we have the cards and everything. And we have the hot cocoa. We have been trying to consider what we could do to manage these. Like, I want to do these videos for you 100%. I like to make these, and I want to do them for you. But I'm starting to get so many requests that... It's, it is actually getting a bit much. My oxygen levels begin decreasing. <laughs> Breathe. Breathe. So, anyway, I love you guys. I really do. And I love that you love being on video. So I'm going to keep doing stuff for you. Because I love you. That one needs... Not overly confident with this. You see that there's some space right here. This is a space that bad things can start happening. When I close this up and it's loose, this is going to start 
crushing in. It allows, you know, edges and everything to start crushing. And they already go through a lot as is. My printer is alive over there. What does it think it's doing? It's like making all sorts of racket. Let's do... Can you even hear that? <laughs> what is it doing? Oh, goodness. I'm not the only one crazy up here. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Good to know I have company. My printer and I is send us to the funny farm. All right, I'm gonna come back and do one more. All right, I still need to make up the box for this one. So I chose an 863. Do that. Then we have the paper. Love that stuff. And then my tissue paper. Alright. Well, that was a habit. We always tuck them under when we put them into the tubs. Okay, so we have a cranberry mint and we have a snow candy. I'm going to put the sleigh ride room and linen spray. So my sleigh ride design came in a little bit after the soap so I'll probably update the soap to that next year. I really like it. What I do is kind of Move those up and then I can push them back down. And they're snug as a bug in a rug. So then over here, we're going to put in a snow angel wax melt. Ooh, the battery's about dead on this thing. And a wild berry lizard wax melt. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll tuck that in like so. And then over, whoa, I just got a whiff of that berry one. Holy moly. So we're going to put in, let's see, let's get the soap in here first. And we'll cover that window up. We'll give that a little bit of shred and put the sample there. We have the cocoa and all the things. that. I'm going to give this one just a little bit of a protection there. And it's right there towards the top. And we have another one done. So I just want to thank everybody for a wonderful holiday release. It was so good and so happy. And it was just lots of fun. This is probably my favorite release of the whole year. I just love all the holiday-iness and it's always so joyful to know that we've come through another year. And so I know the holiday season is going to be different this year, but we're strong people and we have an ability to adapt and I just hope that you can find joy wherever you can find joy this season. I want to thank you for ordering, for hanging out with me in this video, for being so supportive. You're just amazing people, and I thank you, and I love y'all. Happy holidays.